Add another name to the ever-growing list of players linked with a move to Manchester United, James Madison. The 22-year-old had a sensational season with Leicester City, so it shouldn't be, I suppose, too much of a surprise to see us link with him. But where are the stories coming from? What I'm going to do in this video, as you know by now, in a full story, I'm going to look at the reports, tell you where they came from, discuss Madison at Leicester last season, how good was he, why would United be interested in a move for him, and crucially, would Madison actually leave Leicester and would they sell this summer? Uh, before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, go down there, hit the subscribe button, get involved. And if you are regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into it. So where have the stories come from? It was the independent who kicked it all off by saying that the 22 year old was a priority for United and that if he was to leave, he would cost 60 million. But they then went on to say that no official bid has been made yet and that all the discussions were in the very early stages. So within the space of two paragraphs, the Independent there saying that Madison was a priority for United, but that no real contact had actually been made. As for the price tag, 60 million, sounds like a lot, but for a 22 year old Premier League established player, who's, you get that young English add on that goes on to any player that you sign from a Premier League rival, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise to see that Madison, maybe it would cost 60 million. And he's 22 as well. Um, and then it was the Manchester Evening News who followed it up as well by saying that United were indeed interested in Madison and they went on to say that young and hungry British players are understood to feature at the top of Solskjaer's wish list this summer. Which all sounds a little bit Brexit, but United need to move on from this failed Galactico type strategy that we've had with our signings, spending big money on big names that haven't worked out. So as long as it's not just signing British for the sake of it and looking at players like James Madison, players like Aaron Wan-Bissaka, that's the sort of direction I would like to see United go toward. Because, you know, previously we did have a strong British core. We don't need it. But if they are the players that are really going to help take this squad forward under Solskjaer, then I'm absolutely for it. But just as long as it's not for the sake of it. So we've had the Manchester Evening News there. We've had the Independent. And then it was Duncan Castles at the Daily Record. He again said that Leicester valued Madison at 60 million, but went on to say that he would have reservations about a lack of Champions League football at Old Trafford next season, and also concerns about playing time. Now, if Madison was to join United, I don't think playing time would be any sort of concern. He'd probably go straight into our starting 11. He'd be a massive upgrade on one matter and a big improvement on a lot of players inside that squad. As for Champions League football, I don't really see how that would be too much of a concern for Madison, given that he played in the Championship the year before with Norwich, but maybe he sees that as the next big step in his career. If he was to move away from Leicester, he would want to join a club that was in the Champions League, which of course would rule out United, but I don't think that would be the clincher for any potential move for Madison. It's whether or not he would want to leave Leicester and whether Leicester would sell him, because he was class last season in the Premier League. In 36 appearances, he got seven goals and seven assists, and he created an average of 3.2 chances per game. By comparison, Eden Hazard, he created 3.0 chances per game, and Lionel Messi, he created 3.1 chances per game. So that's pretty decent company for Madison, not to say that he's as good as Hazard or Messi, but it goes to show how impressive he was at Leicester last season. And they certainly have an impressive squad as well, the likes of Ndidi, Maguire, Chilwell, Pereira, Tillemans, I'd probably take all of them at United. It kind of goes to show how strong Leicester's squad is and how poor United's squad is at the moment. But Madison, for a 20 million signing from the Championship, it just goes to show that if you've got scouts that can look in the right places, you can find talent that's very well priced that can come on and improve at your club. Just like Robertson at Liverpool, Madison did the same thing when moving from Norwich to Leicester. But have United actually been linked with Madison previously? Not really. You know, his name's been mentioned here or there, but just the fact that three separate papers, Manchester Evening News, The Independent, and The Daily Record, all quote their own sources saying that Madison is a United target, all within the space of 24 hours, it's either a leak or a brief. One of the two, but certainly it seems Madison is on United's radar. But with Leicester having such a good squad, as I've mentioned there, and a good manager now in Brendan Rodgers, they're at a bit of a crossroads this summer. And that leads to the big question is, would Leicester sell Madison? Because if Leicester decide not to sell any of their major players and they back Brendan Rodgers in the transfer market, there is a genuine chance, I think, that Leicester could finish above United next season. 
because their squad, I feel, is that good and United have so much ground to make up. You could see it happening, but it depends on what Leicester want to do. But if a bid of 60 million comes in, they won't dismiss it out of hand. Given that they paid 20 million for Madison only last season, selling him for 60 million after one year in the Premier League is a massive, massive profit that they can then reinvest in the squad. And maybe that's what Leicester will need to do this summer. Sell a player to invest in another two or three and try and identify some more talented youngsters. But it all depends on what Leicester want to do. And it also depends on what Madison wants to do because I would understand if Madison had reservations about moving to United. I mean, every fan has a reservation about the club at the moment. There's more questions than answers. And we're a couple of weeks into the transfer window. We're a month away from the pre-season. We haven't made any signings. So there are reasons to be concerned about what United will look like next season, whereas Madison at Leicester right now, it seems pretty settled. A good manager, the good squad's there. They, you can see the path for Leicester next year. At United, you wouldn't be able to see that. But it's United. It will be a massive step up in terms of the size of the club for Madison. It all depends on what he wants to do and whether United do go in for him. But for me, Madison would be a fantastic signing. I think he'd improve most top six teams. He'd be a huge upgrade on Juan Mata. You know, he's excellent from set pieces. He's a dynamic footballer, comfortable with the ball with his feet. And he would slot into this new style of signing that we keep seemingly getting linked with, that Solskjaer wants to bring into the club and that I'm all for if it's the right ones, as I said, like wan Bissaka and Madison for me would certainly be a good one. As I said earlier, I'm a little bit unsure as to why a lack of Champions League football would stop Madison at this stage in his career, but maybe I'm underestimating how confident he feels in his own ability right now and where he feels he's capable of stepping up to. But what is your take on the Madison rumours? 60 million, do you think that'd be a fair price for him? Do you think he's the right sort of player that we should be looking at or should our eyes be elsewhere? I mean, so far United have been linked with over 60 players. We've signed none of them. Maybe Madison will be another one of those names that just goes in the paper and disappears, but maybe he'll actually become a signing of Solskjaer's. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. If you're new to United People's TV, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, take it easy.